are y'all going on? What's going on? Alright, so today I'm eating more red beans and rice because I told y'all I got red beans and rice, okay? And we're gonna eat it, okay? Um, we ain't gonna eat it till it's gone. I'm gonna, I am gonna freeze some of it, but if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Why subscribe? Even if you're not new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things I see us try, things I see us cook. Interact with us because we like to hear from you. I'm gonna start grace and get started to help the Father. Thank you for this food that we're about to receive the nourishment of our bodies and health. And Jesus, never pray, ma'am. I'm not gonna do a close up because we already synced it right, okay? So, I um, was about to say, I'm just eating some lunch. And y'all know I can't, I can't eat and not do the video. I also did this on TikTok, so I'm gonna do it with y'all. But one of the recipes I saw that I kind of follow, she, um, she put mustard, yellow mustard in her red beans and rice. And she was like, don't knock it till you try it. She said, my people's from the projects with me on in this. And um, <laughs> that, that's exactly how she sound. But so I put it on, on there on the Tiki Tok. It don't, I don't know. It ain't bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think I necessarily be craving mustard in my red beans and rice, but it, it just add a little, like, I don't know, a little tanginess to it. It's good with me. Fine with me. I got some cornbread. These are having rice good, though. Maybe I've made them three times. Because I'm going to have to look at the back of the video because one of them I feel like I was here. But when I saw her video, the girl that put the mustard on there, I feel like I was definitely in my apartment. Not feel like I know I was. And maybe I just didn't do a video. But, you know, me and Gavin, we would tear up some Popeyes, and he was starting to get into red beans and rice, and I was like, I'm about to make them. If you know me, you know I'm going to try something. I'm going I'm to see it, and I'm going to try to make something. And the sweet potato cornbread, it don't look like everybody else's, but that's because they said that they be putting... Or most people put red or not. Maybe it's orange food coloring. Some sort of food coloring in there to make it look real orange. And if you don't, just what it's going to look like. And I didn't want to put food coloring in it, so. But I'm really proud of this cornbread. Everybody liked it, and it turned out really good. It turned out really good. Now, the thing is. I didn't use no measurements, so. I, and I just winged it, so. Next time I'm gonna make some, I have to wing it again. But also, I'm gonna have to incorporate some of the stuff that I did with this one because when I made just regular cornbread from scratch, this is what I want it to taste like, like just moist. And it's like soft. It tastes like cornbread, obviously. It got cornmeal in it, but I don't know. It just is doing something for me. Definitely giving me jiffy vibes. Y'all know how I feel. If my cornbread don't if homemade cornbread don't taste like jiffy, I don't want it. I don't want no stuff that tastes like cardboard. 
It ain't moist. I, I just don't want it. I don't want it. What you say? say? If that fish and fry, I don't want it. Right, so I was talking yesterday before I was so rudely interrupted. Well, I wasn't going to get through all the people anyway. But I was talking about Love is Blind. Spoiler alert. Okay, I'm about to talk about season four. If you have not watched it, just put me on mute. But don't turn me off. Just put me on mute, okay? Um. So I think I left, I left off talking about Zach and Bliss. Um. I did talk about how Zach looked way better with a beard. <laughs> okay. He actually cute with a beard. And it's actually pretty funny when I'm watching these shows. Like, and maybe, I mean, I'm sure it's that for, maybe for the same people, I got this uh, peace tea with raspberry flavor, which I should have got a cup and put some water in because I bet you it's too sweet for me. Oh, never mind. It's cool. It's cool. Um, excuse me. Um, as the show goes on, some people that was ugly, they become a little bit more manageable, a little bit more attractive. You feel me? And that just remind me of, um, which I've said this before. I watched this. I, I don't know. It might have been one of the first seasons of Love, it, Love at First Sight. Or married at first sight, but it was the episode, or it was the season that had two Ryans. One of them was Ryan Renalone. I forget what the other Ryan was. The other Ryan was cute off the bat. Ryan Renalone, he had to grow on me, okay? But as it as the season progressed, he got cute. But he had like these big teeth, and he just had like I don't know, a funny looking head with like beady eyes or whatever. Actually, he kind of reminded me of uh, well, his name um. I think on Instagram and TikTok is like Kuji, Kuji. He that's how you say that Kuji, but he Italian and he just funny to me. He'd be like, he just say really funny stuff like you know this bread is uh whater than your sister or something like that. Or he'd be like, he'll put something on something and he'd be like it's basically a salad like i don't know just funny and then he he called diet coast dc's like he always gotta have a diet coke anyway he lived in new york though i think or jersey one of the places but so he got that accent you know but anyway, he remind me of him okay let's get back on topic okay okay so yeah he looked better basically Next people, Micah. Well, the head does hurt. His hurting. Uh, Kwame and Chelsea. Okay, Kwame and Chelsea. Now Kwame in the pod was choosing between or stuck between Micah and Chelsea. Micah ended up breaking stuff off with him. And he was bent out of shape about it, okay? He was really messed up about it. Like, he was crying and everything, okay? So, when he was at the reunion talking trash, he wasn't talking trash. He was just saying that, like, he knew that the breakup was going to happen. Like, they had talked about how, I guess, like, their connection wasn't as strong or whatever. But I guess what really threw him off and made him cry that day or really be emotional about it is the fact that it just came out of left field like he didn't know it was gonna happen that day or didn't expect it to happen that day but they knew that they were gonna break up i think homeboy line okay because if that was the case and you knew that y'all connection wasn't strong and that you really ain't had them feelings for it like that when they got out the side of the pies they was acting up you hear me acting up not acting up but micah and kwame every time they met or talked after the pie after they got out the pies like they was talking like you know talking about how much they like they have love for one another and low-key like they wish they would have chose each other you know what I'm saying stuff like that I mean they ain't really say it in them words but that's low-key what they were saying and like even when um they was at this pool party 
I think this was the first time that they had saw each other. It was this the first time they saw each other outside the pods with the other couple. And or maybe the second, I don't know. But uh Micah had made this joke and Kwame was just like, Oh, you know, he she was like, Cheers to a failed engagement or something like that. And Kwame got real upset about it. He had he just felt like he had to talk to Micah about it. And um, they had a 20 plus minute conversation, okay? And at first it was about him, you know, telling her that the comment wasn't cool or whatever. But then the rest of it, they just, you know, flirting and everything like that. That's what I'm trying to say. Like every time after they met at the uh, uh, or talked with one another after the pods, they was flirting. And I just feel like, dude, you was not over that girl. You was not over that girl. And if she had said that she wanted to explore with you instead of the person that she had got engaged to, you would have been all for it. So don't miss me with that, okay? And I feel like after Micah had turned him down or like broke things off in the past, that's when he started going hard for Chelsea. But we were just like, I mean, we already knew that he was meeting with Chelsea and Chelsea was down for Kwame from day one, okay? She wanted Kwame's draws from day one. <laughs> she was on it. Chelsea drank the Kool-Aid, okay? And she was just like, oh, you know, like she was in heat, okay? <laughs> From day one. She was happy to have her melanated man, okay? You hear me? Um, And so she was pretty pissed about that conversation that they had and She didn't know what was said because wasn't nobody like really right there while they was happy. But I mean, the way that they was like, you would have thought they was engaged, okay? The way that Kwame and Michael was just like real close to one another, like touchy feely, all this other kind of stuff. But oh, you thought, yeah, you already knew the child was gonna break up. Please stop, okay? Now, and I also don't, I definitely feel like um, Chelsea, um, Love Kwame more than he loved her at first. Now they are still married, which is great. I'm, I, I'm, I love that for them. And he probably really, you know, what I'm saying, in love now. You know, what I'm saying, I really love her, but I don't care what nobody said. When they first, after Micah rejected him, then then he started putting all his time and attention and focus into Chelsea. But he won. He was not. She was not his number one. Um, and Chelsea, she, to me, is the definition of a privileged, male recessive person, okay? Who used to get in her way. People don't tell her no. And I say that because, you know, she lived... Did she live in Portland or Seattle? One of them lived in Portland and one of them lived in Seattle. So when they, wherever Chelsea lived, when they got out of the pods, he more so just like spent most of his time where Chelsea was. And the way, now this could be just how they edited it or whatever, because, or cap, because homie was, Yeah, he was on board the whole time, you know, because he had more flexibility. He worked from home, so he could move. Whereas Chelsea couldn't, or, or she could have, but she didn't want to. She could have moved, got another job, but she didn't want to, okay? And my man Kwame was sitting there talking to her and telling her about how, you know, he didn't really want to give up his life where he was because where she lived at was a little bit more gloomy, dreary, cold, and... He played soccer every day. He just basically couldn't live the same lifestyle that he wanted to if he had moved to where Chelsea was. And when I tell y'all, she was just sitting there looking at him like, okay, you telling me this because? Like, we moving to where I'm at. Like, so you really just talking to be talking at this point. That's what her look said to me, okay? But, uh, yeah. 
But other than that, like Chelsea was cool. Like she, like I said, she was down to ride, okay, with and for Kwame, like the whole time. The whole time, like she, she wanted that man, and uh, yeah, she wanted that man. And the thing about it is, I feel like she ain't had no, she ain't had no reservations or qualms that he was gonna choose her to get engaged to. Like she just knew that. Like she, she, she knew that Kwame was it for her. Like she wasn't entertaining no other connections. Like, mm hmm. But yeah, and then I ain't why I can't remember these people's name. But one other couple. What is her name? And probably the reason why I don't remember their name because and nothing going on with them. They was fine. They would they found one another, loved each other from the start, and had really really no issues. Like they was getting married. I think the only thing or question was like if he could be able to provide the lifestyle that she used to live in because. But is he a business owner? Hmm. Now, I really don't want to stop this video to find their names, but I feel like I need to because. Let me see. Okay, never mind because the people I was thinking about, they was on the previous season, so don't don't even worry about it. So, yeah, uh, I think I had to talk about everybody. Um, yeah, and, and Tiffany and Brett, I mean. Tiffany and Brett, okay, like, new, I don't know if I talked to them about them in the, the other, the other video I did, but we knew, I, listen, if I was gonna have no hope in this show if they did not get married, because they were, like, they were just perfect, like, they were perfect, they just, it just, they meshed well, so well together, like, they just knew, like, Tiffany knew, she was like, I found my person, like, I don't know. They just are just so amazing together. Like they definitely, I think me and Yasmin was saying, or Yasmin said they give him uh, Karen and Miles vibes. However, Tiffany and Karen. Okay, because I think I told y'all about how I feel about Karen. Okay, so she be my man, right, man? It's good. I love raspberry iced tea. Like mm -hmm. raspberry iced tea is my jam. Okay. Um. So yeah. All right. I um. I'm done talking about Love Is Blind, the season four. I think I didn't say anything I need to say about that. And I think so. Yeah. All right. So I'm on the season five, and we're gonna see what happens. And on that note, I guess I'm peace out on y'all. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things I see, things I see us try, things I see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. We'll see you the next one. Peace out. Also, my sister had made these blondie brownies on Sunday. And I want to tell you to tell y'all these things slap. And I've been tearing them up. And she's sorry that she left him here or that they, she thought that they were gone because her boyfriend had put the pan, had moved, took the rest of them out, put them in foil and put the pan in my dishwasher. And uh, yeah, I told her it definitely was still some. It's about a fourth of the pan left and I've been tearing them up. I got about like, cool, cool. I probably got, I mean like if I made myself like some brownies ice cream, I probably got like two servings of it. I just been taking off little slurs here and there. Like it, they were really good, really good. All right, I'm out. Peace out. I don't know when y'all gonna see this video because I be trying to give y'all different stuff so that you're not watching the same thing like in the same week. So I'll probably like try to maybe post this next week or something. Like that. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, and I'm also, <laughs> and I'm laughing because yes, I still have these decorations up from the Bubby's birthday. So 
I'm gonna leave them up until Halloween. And then he has me said, really, Wednesday at the latest, I didn't take her down. But she also said, really, Tuesday night. So I may snatch him down Tuesday night. We'll see. And then I do need to seriously paint this wall like it's ridiculous. I haven't painted it. 